Hello, welcome back to Mountain Blade Warband. So, today we are going to be getting more Spadian troops, and we're going to Kurawa, uh, uh, Kurawa, because, um, up in Kurawa there's going to be a battle. I know this means I tried to record, and the game crashed on me last time. Well, anyway, in our previous official episode, um, previously in our official episodes, I should say, uh, we had a fight with the Vaggers, and we got captured, and we lost all our troops, and, oh yes, that's the other thing we'll be doing, so we'll be looking for our companions that, uh, we lost. They also had to run off because we were captured. So, they're somewhere in the world now. Um, anyway, but, uh, we got captured, and we had a rough time, and then we got captured by some bandits as soon as we escaped from them. Once we escaped from that, we, uh, just turned to head up into, um, Warchag, and we bought some new troops, and then, uh, we won a few tournaments, and we bought two die works, one in Vel Veluca, Veluca or Velika, I like Velika more, so I'm gonna say Velika, um, and Jelkala, because those are the two places we decided to buy them in. Uh, now, um, we're also far, far away from where we're going to be doing more, um, we're also going to be trying to take some, uh, cat, get some, mm, Swadians. We'll be good on the open plains up here. And, um, and then we might, uh, we'll see how it goes. And, uh, graphical glitch again. I hate you can see clouds. Uh, we might, maybe, no, probably not this episode. A couple more episodes, and then we're going to start mm, this guy right here. I'll be our first castle, I think. Uh, we don't want to... Hmm... Do you like how that one looks, though? Or, or we could just go straight into their territory. And try and, like, take it. It's kind of weird. There's all this open area over here and nothing there. This village... Oh, I hate to have the, be, like, the lord of this village. Anyway. Um... We could also try and, like, join the Vaggers, and then when we join the Vaggers, we go and they give us some stuff, like, and then we separate from them, and we take, like, all this. Dun, 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 dun. We'll see. So now we have our two things. Um, I'm gonna resist using Lord of Troops, even though I like them a lot. And we're gonna go, um... We'll go to... Let's stop at, uh, some villagers. Okay. So... I probably should have been doing this while we are While I was talking, so I wouldn't be in the situation, but... Hey, new to the video, thanks. We'll, we'll see how I... I'll get better at it, I'm sure. Or probably not. <laughs> Who knows? Oh, yep, this is what I was talking about. At least eight troops. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Do we have 8 troops? I think I made this joke last time too, but... Lost all that footage. Well, no, I didn't lose the footage. I had the footage, I just... And I uploaded it because... I wanted me to. Oops, more wealth, see? Nice! Um... That's how... That's really low for Jelkala. I wonder why. It's scary low. Fruit. Go here. And we will. Nope, we already bought some from there. Okay, we'll go here and we'll uh, get some Nords. Nope, I have Nords from there, so we'll head to Kira. Also, Rodoks are now um, the Rodox because um, Hoff requested it. No, uh, because I wasn't trying to pronounce it before and Hop said, well, he pronounced it Rodox, so we'll, we'll call it that. Um, cool. Um, we're gonna start, stop at this place here, and we can't even buy things, so whatever. Oh, shoot, 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 who's that? Ho, ho, ho! Those are some weak troops. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Um, we don't have the best troops either, but... 
you know, I might, I might be willing to do this. Um, let's see, if, let's see if he attacks me. If he attacks me, then I, I will take him on. Oh, I like his helmet. <laughs> I like how his beard goes through his helmet. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Uh, not really. I'm being sarcastic. But I do like how his helmet looks with the rest of his armor. I don't know, one thing I don't like about the Vagger's armor is the back is, there's nothing protecting it. So, if I ever need to tactically retreat, I can't. Um, the odds are not in your favor today? Oh! Oh, fight you to the end, nubby nub cakes. No, um, okay. Do we have archers? We have a few archers, I think. So, we're gonna do... And wait, no, it's uh, what's uh? Oh, I can't remember. What is uh archers? Archers are and they f four. Oops, no, 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 no. That's not what I meant to do. Um, uh, I'm gonna charge for now. Do we have- no, it doesn't look like we have any, have any half-decent archers, so we'll just charge. If we have any good archers, we'll... Um, this is an intense battle, so I won't, I won't start talking about, um, off-topic things yet. But, um, let's see how we do here. Um... <laughs> so this is a bit of a risky battle, I'm seeing as we both have pretty, uh, we have pretty weak troops, but so do they, and we have, um, we have more troops. We probably have a little weaker troops. Let's say we're still winning. Oh, yes, yes, here we go. Here we go, here's the Lord. Get off your high horse. Yeah! That's right. I will dismount because I'm an honorable man. And I just want to hit him over here. There you go. This is what we do to enemies of Enethor, uh, Enethor, uh, Monium. No. Enethor Hoboy, something like that, I don't know. What is Enethor's last name? I just killed the president and then I feel bad. Not that bad though, because I'm Anathor, not Draco. Uh, in this case, that is. Anathor is a bit more of a jerk and heartless. Um. Ooh. Hey, you don't. Nope. Uh, it's not going to go. Can't get him? So, uh. Yes, throw the axe, throw the axe. That's the best thing about Nord- Oh my gosh, that was good. Best thing about Nord infantry is that they, uh... Oops, didn't mean to do that. Hey, he's probably gonna get away. Um, so my sword's red. It's a lightsaber now. I'm now Darth Anathor. Phew. Um, no. Yeah. So if you want to come up with a name for our nation, that is an option. I remember saying that in the last episode, but it got cut out at the end, so you never got to hear a name for our nation. Leave it in the comments. Tell me on the Swords of Light, whatever you wish. Uh, Swords of Light, by the way, is www.swordsoflight.wordpress.com. Check us out, we're a great group. Um, uh, haha. Oh, you know, I'm not, I'm not Draco, so I, I don't need to be on, honorable here. I could, I could, uh, you know, my prisoner. Yeah, better be. And I'll take you, and I'll take 
you and I'll take you and you and y'all. Oh yes, leather, leather armor for days. Some decent weapons and such. Not really. But better than some like junk from things that aren't uh what's he? Sea Raiders. Bandits that aren't sea raiders. Uh, do we want to chase them now? They'll probably outrun us. We'll go to Kira. Like we said we would. Um, actually, let me look at notes. Here is seen near Ismail um, Castle. Two days old. Where is it? Where is Ismail? Oh, okay, so they're still on the way. We need to talk to them too, so. Um, I don't see him. Shoot, 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 shoot! No, 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 no! Uh, we'll just, uh... We'll, we'll wait here for some time. There we go. Um, I don't see... I don't see our guy here. So, in this case, we're probably going to sell the, the lord that we captured soon, because... Unless he escapes, because, um... We don't want to keep him for too long, just because we don't need to. It's not like we're planning to win the war. We kind of want to have a good outcome from the Nords, so that these guys are at a different disadvantage, so that I can take them out. But we don't want them to be at too much of an advantage, because I will have to take them out after I take these guys out. Um, syndicating Lords, I believe. Uh, that might be something I try doing because it could be important. While I'm at the war with the Vaggers, maybe I'll get some rep up with the lords here and try and get them to join my army. Uh, that way when we go to war with them, they'll be weakened. But that probably won't happen. You usually need to have a whole police before you do that. So we could also, alternatively, go for these guys. I think these guys might be a better option. Well, what? we'll clear out these guys, then go to war with these guys, try and get these guys to join us, the lords from here. Then after we've won that, we'll take out here. Then we're either going to go for Swadia or these guys, because these guys, man, they stink. Uh, these guys are probably going to be our last target, because they're nice in the corner. That means that they'll also have the most time to gain, so they'll probably have taken all this here. We'll see. Um, ooh. Okay. Mm, where am I? Let's go to... Um... Oh, we'll just... Oh, what? I failed the quest? Well, where the heck is he? He's supposed to go to Kirwa. Ooh. Ooh. 83 men? No. No. Uh, where, where's the... Darn it. Well... These guys can all become footmen. Warriors, yes. Um, skirmishers, I think, are what we want. Right? Yeah. Where are they? I didn't see them. I don't know why. That would be a move for skirmisher, not beggar. Um, yeah, they are archers. And then they become super archers at the very end, apparently. Trained footman. Uh, militia. Yeah, I'm looking good. Oh, I need to level up. Yes, I remember I'm doing this last episode. So we put one into intelligence and two into charm. I mean, charisma. Is it charm or charisma? Yeah, it's charisma. Um, <laughs> charm. Uh, we might put, start putting points into athletics sooner or later because it is a useful skill. Even if you're not. Uh, even if you are a horseman. Trainer, obviously one goes there. Surgery, one goes there. Trainer and surgery, always put a point into them. Whatever you can. Two best skills in the game, for sure. Um, not counting combat ones. Those ones are good, but even then, trainer and surgery, those, those things are the best. Your troops don't die, and your troops become stronger quicker. So, um... First aid, always a good thing. 
Persuasion, I've put points into it, and it doesn't really seem to help very much, usually. It might help a little, but no, I, I don't really need persuasion. I'm at the door. My face is persuasion of sh that. My face will- never mind. <laughs> oh, that was stupid. Let's see, um, looting? Tracking? Tactics? Oh yeah, I was gonna put a point. How do I only have one point? I thought I had two. Um, what did I put my- did I forget to put one into surgery last time or something? Oh yeah, I didn't put one into first aid. I'll put one into- Ooh, yeah, what's tracking? Um, let's go for, uh, well, we'll go for pathfinding, because we want to be faster. Um, okay, wow, this looks pretty neat, uh, let's see, while we're waiting, since we don't have to siege something, maybe we'll go and, um, we might attack castle. Um, probably not, though, because we won't leave those for me, mostly. Um, we could, oh, this is interesting, Pergit Kane and the, uh, Swadians have got more, oh, hey, look, over here, I'm coming to these guys. Yeah, guys, over here, I'm coming. And the king's just like, hi, oh, uh, yes. Okay, so the party broke up there, it seems. But, oh, uh, we'll go get some more. Let me level up my. Nope, don't need to level them up yet. <laughs> Jumping in conclusions. We'll go over here. Oh. We might go uh, from. Oh, you know what we need to do? We need to go look for Elaine and. Um, and Elaine and other. Elaine and company, we'll call. Because. Okay, perfect. We'll go to Ux Uxkull. Ah, uh, that name's weird. Uxkull. Yeah, there we are. Just how it's spelled. Let's see. Um, go to the tavern. We do not have anyone. We do not have Ferentis. Uh, people we're looking for. Our ideal team's gonna be the good guys. We're gonna call them, and that's because to me they're the ones that are closest to good guys. Um, we're gonna have Elaine because. He's, I mean, like, I mean, sure, he's the son of a lord, and lords tend to be jerks. Not in some, not in all cases, but in a lot of cases. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, the only area I get is cold steel. Um, the other thing we're going to get is, um, I need to switch the items layout, lay, lay but, um, so, Elaine, we're going to get, uh, Yamira. Because she's also a good guy. We're going to get... Uh, what's his name? Uh, Frantis. Basically, well, he killed his brother, and you're like, That's not a good guy, but, well, he wants to change, and he feels bad, and he's like... Yeah, I, I like him a lot, actually. Because he's, he's, he feels guilty. And you know, I feel bad for guilty people. Uh, this is why you're my friend. Ah, uh, shoot, I am getting damaged to my head. This can be this. Shoot! Oh my gosh. I don't know why I did this. Um. That would be good. Ah, uh, shoot. Nice little thing about this mod, if I didn't already say it, is that uh, when you get knocked out, your troops will continue fighting. That just makes more sense. I mean, it just works a lot better. That should be how it works. I don't care. Um, anyway, other than that, there are some other nice things. This is what you get, uh, gives you an excuse to allow you to jump in there in the combat and not have to stay back and worry about not dying or whatever. Um, otherwise we'd lose a lot more. <laughs> uh, so other than that, we have, um, what was I saying? Uh, did I like the... I think I made sw Swatty and Skirmishers by accident. Whatever. Anyway, they seem okay. So I was saying, um... Uh, I don't know what I was saying. Oh yeah, the people, I'm sorry. 
So Elaine, Jamila, um, Parentis, um, not Artemeaner, because Artemeaner doesn't like Jeremus. Ja Jeremus is my, mm, possibly my favorite companion. He's a really nice guy. He's, uh, I think, I think Jeremus is a pretty cool guy. He kills people and tells not afraid of anything. Basically, sums it up. Uh, after those, we have, uh, oh, Bunduk. Bunduk. He's, he's a, uh, he's a guard. He's a nice, honest man. And, uh, I think then we can even get, uh, who's the trade guy? I think his name starts with an M. Um, well, there's this guy who's a traitor, not a traitor, but a traitor. He trades stuff and his caravan got robbed. Manhunters, we'll take you. You guys are pretty good. Forest Bandits, we don't need you guys. We'll take this though. Do -do -do. I wish I could go help those Manhunters, but I can't. Tavern. Oh yes. Not the nice thing this mod adds. Oh. Nope. Nope. Hired Blade? No. You. Here, prisoners to sell. That is a nice thing. Sell. You get him. You get him. You get him, and him, and him, and him, and him. And you get all these guys, too. There you go. Um, hard blades. Those guys are good infantry. And they look awesome, too. I wonder what armor that is. Looks kind of like mine, but not quite. I wonder if it's better or worse. I like it though. Uh, I also go by um, how armor looks in a lot of cases. I mean, like in I won't go with like like normal clothes, but if I go with like I, I might not like the plate armor because it looks a little too like I might go with something like this because it's a high tier armor that just looks better or whatever. I might go with Kurgan armor actually. This game I kind of like how it looks. That's some nice armor there. <laughs> That's expensive armor, too. Lordly Kurgit's stuff. Look at that, though. Da da da. That's a nice armor boost scene. And then I could wear, like. Uh, they don't have any good armor. Oh, I do like this stuff. This, uh. Ooh. Not this. But, uh. I, don't... I like this stuff. That looks really cool, I think. Do 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 they don't have any good boots here, I was gonna say, uh, my male gloves, no, um, but I was gonna say, some people like this, <laughs> it, it looks okay, but I prefer just a normal great helm most of the time. I wonder, could I buy this? I could, I'm gonna, oh. I'm gonna buy this, and, uh, give that to one of my people, because I really like how this armor looks, and I think it's pretty good armor, why not? So now I have this, I'm gonna be this guy. Just looking through the shop, it's fun to do. Ooh. Uh, if you have any preferences on how armor looks, you can say it and maybe I'll wear it, you know? Masterwork light crossbow, that's actually something I'd love right now. Um, do I have enough money for it? Yes, I do, but bear. No, I don't. I'd have to sell some stuff. I could do that. Masterwork light crossbow would be great though, because now I'd, I'd, I like siege crossbows, but I can't use them on horseback, so. <sighs> That's such a, oh, well, it'll be good for my companions, because I like to give my companions crossbows as well. Or bows, depending on the one. That's also a nice two-handed weapon, but. I need to pay some money, but oh, it would be probably worth it, I think. Um. I might start getting into bows. I might get into bows instead. You know, why not? I've never gone with a bow strategy. And I will, I'll save the siege crossbow for sieges because it's extremely good in sieges. But I am going to instead get a bow and I'm going to learn to use it. Uh, Nomad bow. Requires power draw two. Bow of war. Ooh. Since I'm not going to be putting points into like shield. Um, ooh, 
Let's see, that one does 16 damage, that does 20, yeah. That's the thing, it feels, it, it looks so much weaker compared to these, but it really isn't. I'll buy this still. <laughs> we just, bows are cheap, and for now I'm going to use this. Because I can't, I'll get a Nomad bow, I guess. How about that? Oh, no, I can't afford a Nomad bow. Well, do I really want this crossbow? Yep, this is, this is what I go through. Every time I see something I want, no, it isn't really. Um, usually I just buy it anyway. Uh, and we could go for a war bow because that that sounds like an actual good weapon. Yeah, we'll we'll go with the war bow, and we'll next time put two points into intelligence, put all those points into power draw, and we'll get. Next two level offs, that is. And we'll get a... We'll be able to use this. And we have arrows. We need arrows as well. That's the other thing. Bent Kurgan arrows. Large bag of arrows. Ooh. Um, we might go with large bag of arrows because I like lots of arrows. Okay. So that was a lot of money just spent there. Okay, we'll leave and we'll look for a land and such. Let's get a Praven. It's not Praven, it's Praven. <laughs> okay, so while we're doing this, I will start talking about things that are not necessarily related to the game, but stuff I want to talk about because why not? Okay, so I'm a huge Zelda fan. Zelda is one of my favorite video games of all time. Or video game series of all times. Uh, I don't know why I'm here because I shouldn't be. Two-handed saber, that sounds weird. Um, Zelda's one of my favorite video game series of all time. And, um, it's, it's, they came up with a new game for it recently. It's called A Link Between Worlds. This game was really good. I liked it a lot. I have a few complaints, and I have a lot of comments about it. Really, it's not too, too many. Oh, hey, look, we're twins, almost. Not really at all. I like that helmet a lot, by the way. That helmet looks great on, uh, on, especially with the, oh my gosh, we, I think we might be twins. We have the same face. Almost. Not really, but kind of. Um, looks really good on the, uh, on the Lord, for the, uh, Lord Caster of Velika, who is the, the claimant for the thing. I don't know. Uh, claim for the Vaggers? No, I don't want to do that. Um, I'll explain claimants, uh, claimants later, because it's kind of complex. Anyway, so Zelda, A Link Between Worlds. Really fun. Uh, a lot... It was... Oh, in peace. It was actually better than I expected. It, it was, really. Um, I expected it to be good, but not um, as, as good as it was. Uh, let's see, so we had, um, so my complaints with it, uh, it had, it had great reviews, so towards the end, I had high hopes for it. Uh, the reviews, it lived up to them, because it had, um, it had a few issues. Some of the items weren't used enough, or were just boring. Uh, Sand Rod wasn't used enough. Hey, Rolf. I don't know if he, does Rolf even, I think he actually, uh, gets along with most of the other people, so... Uh, I'll, uh, I'll have him join us, and we'll, if, if he gets mad at someone, I'll, well, if I somehow get rid of him or whatever. Uh, you are not a, you are not an infantry, you are a champion. Um, oh yeah, we also have Bashter, got him last episode. Uh, so, the news about the game, uh, it had some, it had a lot of good, um, oh shoot, should have planned this out a bit better, I think, but, uh, I didn't, because I'm Draco, and I kind of thought, oh yeah, I'll, I'll do it, talk about Zelda, because I'm Draco, and I know all the things ever about Zelda. Yeah, I, I was kind of stupid. He looks really good. Looks like Scotland, bald. Uh, anyway. 
so the new Zelda game had a lot of um, interesting new ideas, like uh, in arms. What? There we go. Yeah, there we go. Um, and I love it. It was experimenting with a lot of new things, such as uh, what was it? Um, the new. Oops. Oh, sh I'm out of money. Uh, we'll be fine. I just can't upgrade the rest of them. Um, means I get weekly money. So, they experimented with a lot of new ideas, such as, um, I don't know, what am I saying? Oh, uh, oh yeah, item shop, buy the items in the shop instead of, a uh, thing. That was, oh, ooh. shoot, I'm in debt, shoot, shoot, I'm gonna go, uh, I don't know why it's happening. I'm gonna go, um... Yeah, this will make me talk better too. I'll be able to enter the arena and just beat up a bunch of people. Uh... Okay. So, as I was saying... Oh, cool. Um... Oh, shoot. Uh, the new Zelda game well, uh, had a lot of good features like, um... A lot of new features like the item shop, uh, and being able to choose which order you do the dungeons in. Uh, let's see, what was the other main one? There was one other main one, I think. It was that you... What was it? Oh yeah, the world switching, That's that was well, They did that before, though. And, oh yes, the painting one. I don't know why I couldn't think about that, because that was one of the main features, and it worked out really well. I'd like to see more Zelda games have it, in fact. 2D ones, that is. Um, basically, uh, uh, after a short while in the game, you get a bracelet, and then after a short while, you get... A short while after you have the bracelet, you get to go and, uh, use the bracelet in a... Um, I'm the secret table! <sighs> I'm sorry about that, I had to stop right there. So, I believe I was talking about a link between worlds. Yes, there, are two, there were new features, a lot of new features, like um, the painting mode, which I said was really good, and I'd like to see more Zelda games, because it worked out really well. Along with some other new features, like buying items in a shop, which I'll talk about in a moment, and um, instead of in a, finding them in a dungeon, that is. And the other one, which is... Uh, what was the other one I had down. I'm, I'm gonna make notes next time so I don't get caught out like this. And, um, uh, yeah. It was, um, oh yes, the open world, not open world, but the choose which order you'd like to explore the dungeons in. Uh, so first, let's start off with the painting mode. Great. It worked out pretty perfectly. There was no combat in it. But it, all the puzzles they used it in, it worked well in. And it didn't feel overused, either. It, it, it felt like it was used correctly. It wasn't, wasn't an overused gimmick. Um, I like that a lot. I, I, I'd like to see it in future Zelda games, even. It was a great puzzle mechanic, and that's 30% of the reason I like Zelda puzzles. Um, so yes, the story was great in the game. I, the plot choice, they made it a little too obvious, but... Um, the, the second part of the plot twist was a surprise to me, and uh, most other people I've heard say it, and it, uh, it was very, very interesting, but I cannot say anything because I'm not going to spoil it for those viewing, meaning who would actually like to play the game, that being Sarah mostly, because, um, Hob probably isn't going to play it, but it was a very interesting game, um, the shopkeeper. The shop, the shop, what do I have to say about that? I liked it in this game, I would not wait to see it in every Zelda game, for sure. Maybe a mix, where you could buy some items in shop, but I did kind of miss the feeling of where I'd find an item in the dungeon. Though it also, and then you'd be like, oh, look at all the stuff we can do. But it did let you use the item for the whole of the dungeon, as compared to other games where, you know, you'd go through the dungeon, and then you'd find the item, and then you'd use it for the second half of the dungeon. Uh, that was, but, but that's, that's not a big complaint. I'd say I just wouldn't like seeing it in every Zelda game. Um, so, find, complete the dungeons in your own, 
Twitter. I like it to some extent. The one issue I had was basically I was taking way too much damage because I didn't get the item you should have got. Basically, as soon as you enter the dark ball, things do a lot more damage. That's good. It was difficult. I liked it. I, I only had 14 dimes in the game, but I had some troubled areas. Um, well, it turns out, the, the dungeon I did second to last, yeah, dungeon I did second to last, uh, had an item that reduces all damage you take by half. Very, very important. There are these, there are some things that are dealing three hearts of damage. That is insane for a Zelda game, especially at the level you're at. I got it. it I mean, like, I only had nine hearts when I encountered those things. Three of them dead. It was pretty crazy. So, I didn't know about the item, and I didn't get it because of that. So, basically, I got it late in the game, and suddenly the game felt a lot better. <laughs> a lot less scary, but, um, it was good. Um, I, I do like the idea of having choose your own dungeon thing, but I think it should be less, there should be more direction, and, uh, like, something, because it was nice to have choices, but it, uh, but it was not nice to have to, you know, deal with things that you weren't really at the level for. Mm. My, my main issue, though, with the game was, was mostly really this one item. It, it, it was lame, it was this like little, uh, it was called the tornado rod, but really it was like this little leaf helicopter, and it was used like in the dungeon in for puzzles that weren't that great, and then it was never used anywhere else, there was, you know, bombs are used everywhere, uh, other things are used everywhere, frost rod, which isn't used as much, it's still used a ton in combat, and it's used in a couple of places, including other dungeons. Which I liked, and um, and then the the Wutsy thing, the the fire rod, that was a great weapon. This thing wasn't even a great weapon. It was just kind of like a lame thing that you went and you never rented out again. Oh yes, that was something. The item renting and not buying. Um, I liked the idea, but the problem is, by the end of the game, I had every item bought because you could buy the items as well. I did like though that it added a challenge and a sense of scariness to death. You lose all the uh, rented items you had um, when you died, but when you bought them, you could upgrade them as well. So that's basically why I bought them all, was so I could upgrade them. Even the leaf tornado thing, Ugh, it's horrible. Not not the Pokemon leaf move, leaf tornado. That's actually a different move from leaf storm. I think. Now that I think it came out in one of the more recent games, but that's beside the point because this is we're talking about Zelda, not Pokemon. We're playing Mountain Blade. Um, Mount and Blade, not Mountain Blade. Um, Mountain Blade is an achievement here, though. Anyway, um, talking about Zelda, I forgot. Uh, sidetracks. Yay! He's traveling through Draco's mind. Um, it's kind of like, you know, I'm not going to go into a metaphor. Anyway, so, other Zelda games, no, not other Zelda games, what I was talking about was how I, um, So, uh, so the renting items thing, I liked it a lot, it had a nice sense of challenge, but the problem was, it kind of went away towards the end. It, it did feel nice to like, finally get an item, like, haha, now this is finally mine. But, it removed the penalty, which is kind of the whole purpose of it, which, I don't know, I'd like to see something that makes it more challenging, uh, I'd like to see maybe something like this later, but mm, but I, I don't think that this is currently the right sort of solution. Something that makes it harder would be nice, or more more costly. Because previously you just have to go to the start of the dungeon and blah blah blah. That's irritating, but it's not. It's not like ooh. Um. So you, you, you know, uh, you did get a little too much money, but that's because if you didn't, you'd have to like grind for rupees and. Zelda isn't a game where you want to, a game where you grind anything, and you don't want to do that, because Zelda, to me, has three main things. It has puzzle, it has combat, and it has story. Story, honestly, is a little less than the other two, I think. 
story's a little stereotypical. Lore may be a bit more, but story, like the actual story can be... It can range from pretty good to... Uh, or really good, I'll say. To pretty bad. Um, or boring, I should say. It's not necessarily bad, it's just kind of boring and stereotypical. Uh, this game had a pretty good story, I think. Uh, let's see, other... But, uh, the puzzles in the combat, it's a lot, there's a lot of balancing there, and, um, I mean, it's obviously not super, duper amazing combat of strategy, but it's, it's a fun action thing. You get to use items in it and such. I thought the items in this game were really good, except for the tornado rod, basically. Um... The fire rod and ice rod were super fun to use. I, I, those, I bought those items first just because I thought they looked amazing. And I thought they're going to do fire and ice attacks. And I was right. I also upgraded the ice rod first. And, uh, whew, so useful in the game. Uh, I liked it a lot. So that was, um, I liked it a lot. Highly recommend it. It gets a 9 out of 10. Maybe, maybe... But I'll say 9 out of 10. We'll just go with 9 out of 10. No, 9.2 or whatever. We're just going to go with 9 out of 10. Yep, I'm fractured. Uh, it was a good game, and I highly recommend it. If someone wants to get a Zelda game and they have a 3DS, then yes, get this. If you don't want to get it, if you don't want to get a Zelda game, still get it if you, if your wish list is empty or, you know, when you want to buy a game or whatever. But, that's about it. I'm gonna move on now. So what you you may have been noticing, I've been dying at 12 every time, except for the first time or so, uh, and that's intentional. Uh, you after 12, you stop getting bonus money unless you kill them all, and since that's less likely, I can get more money just by dying at 12. There we go, killed him. Uh, this will probably be the last round of this. Um, I think um. Yeah, I think I need to take notes next time for when I do talk like that. I don't review games while I do grindy stuff like this. Uh, because it's good to have something to talk about, share my opinions, and I think it makes it less boring for people to watch as well. If people want this even recorded. I mean, like, I could do it alone, but you'd, I'd be bored. Uh, no, this isn't that boring. It's kind of fun. Let me, uh, let me die this time. Um, I really like this guy's mustache, by the way. It's actually kind of like mine in real life, if it was actually there. Is it, is the middle section's missing? Um, uh, I don't really have a mustache. Uh, we're moving on. Oh, oopsies. I didn't even notice it. Okay, so, this should be it, uh, and we've earned money, so that's good. Problem is... Let's see. You can upgrade people now. Vega Archer. Footman. Skirmisher. Nord Veterans. Oh, these guys. Warriors. Okay. Okay, so, um... Let's see. Did we, uh, did we check the tavern here? I don't even remember. We're checking in anyway because you never know. Okay, no one here. So we're gonna go to Sargoth, I think, and we're gonna go to Nordy Land uh, because I want to. Um, I want to go see what's up there, and you know, maybe Alain's gonna be around there. Okay. Okay, perfect. We're going to there, and we're gonna be at a party feast. Oh, tournament too. Join the feast. Hello! Look at me! Remember me! I'm the mercenary in leathery, shiny armor. I, I really like this armor. I I'm Draco in leather leather armor. Yes. <laughs> uh, let's see. Hey, look at me! I'm here. Yeah, see? Just talk to him. He's like, hi. My name is Edivor, at your service. Um, we... So, so I'm here, 
now, and, uh, I really like how this armor looks, because it looks like it could be worn casually, kind of, in a way. I wish more armor had capes. I said this before, and I think it got cut out, because glitchy, glitchy things. Um, so if I just talk to these guys, they'll, they'll get reputation up. Hmm, um, that is also a question. Should I, um, get married into a family before we start this and try and get, and try to syndicate all the lords from that family into my new army? Um, Hall will probably have watched this and he will give his opinion on that, and I'm probably, he's like my chief opinion man because he's the one who wanted me to do this Let's Play. Uh, and, I mean, like, I'm not just doing it for him, I'm doing it because I wanted to do a Let's Play, and League of Legends wasn't, uh, we'll, we'll do more League of Legends eventually, but it wasn't working out too much, and I haven't been playing it as much. I still play it, but I haven't been playing it quite as much as it was. Okay. Oh, Masterwork Longbow. Strong Longbow. Oh yeah, I need to level up and put two points there. Heavy throwing daggers. Those things are great. I love throwing daggers. Um, in this in this mod at least because they're t useless in the vanilla. And Hobbs hates that I can use them. <laughs> Sorry, but I uh, what? Huh? Yeah, <laughs> I wasn't making fun of you, Hobbs. What? No. Um, uh, people probably just got confused. Like, what is he doing? No, I was just, like, pretending to act like I didn't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, you know, I'm not gonna edit any that out, because I don't edit things out. Uh, well, I will be actually editing something out. But, that'll be, blah, forget it. <laughs> um, okay. Now that we're done with my ramblings of a madman. Ooh. Hmm. <laughs> I like how that looks, but, um, full arm or two. Ooh. Nope. Nope, I don't need it. I'm going with, I'm going with two-handed swords. These swords are better than axes. Bodkin arrow. I will buy that as well. Because these two things are going to, uh, basically my plan is, once I get power draw four, I'll put that in there, put these in there, and then have that. Armor? Ooh, wow, that looks nice. Lordly Brigandine. I like how this also looks, the uh, scale mail, but honestly, I like how that one looks a bit more like. Um, because that looks good, but I don't know, some of the scales look a little weird. I like scale mail a lot, but I like this a little more, I think. I, I want something that'll have my colors on it, but I don't want. This is the problem I have with this armor here. It cuts off the bird's face. Every logo never applies right unless it's like a straight up one. And even mine, I thought was I thought mine was gonna look good on this one. I know uh, my the swords look horrible on it because I picked the swords in the one. Uh, actually, look how that one looks better, and I think oh, they have the same thing. Wow, same stats. So, uh, no, a little thing I'll, I'll tell you about that I do with my troops. Wow, that's expensive for some gloves. <laughs> I'm just gonna get those because that gives more armor to you. That, that looks good. Plus it looks good with my armor. Um, I like to give my companions specific helmets so I can, like, see who they are while they're in battle. Um, they each have specific helmets, like, Elaine usually has the crate helmet because he's, like, a lord son and whatever. I don't know. It depends. Um, uh, do we have enough food for everything? Ah, uh, we do. We have a lot of... I would've thought we'd have run out by now, but no. Sword, we don't need that. Okay. Head back. Let's go to the tournament. Place a bet on myself, 500. Go ahead, yep. Uh, fight in the next round, and I think if we win this, I'll go buy some stuff in, uh, in the, 
not the not the Swadia, but the desert place I think probably. Uh, we could we could buy in Swadia as well. I mean they're far enough. Mm -hmm. They're kind of close. The desert land isn't. I guess the daggers are really near a lot of people when you think about it. Murder trip. Shoot, man. Wow. My teammates. Wow. I thought I was going to lose there. I didn't. Ha <laughs> ha. My, I think it was my, uh, my beard and mustache thing that, that saved me. I'm just kidding. I, I, I don't know why, but I really like how that facial hair looks. So I make jokes about it whenever I can. I think it's trying to freak people out, except that no one else brushes it the, than Hoth, so probably isn't, because Hoth probably likes it too. And I'm guessing he now hates it, because I said he'd like it. Don't ask. It's just... Wow. So what we're gonna do here, yeah, you run in there and you, you sacrifice yourself. I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna... Yeah, there we go! Team Blueface, in the way. In the, in the way? For the win, I mean. I don't know why I said in the way, that just makes no sense. I think it, did it just say... No, never mind. Uh, I thought it said there were gonna be 31 troops, they kinda skipped through it. Oh. I was gonna say, that'd be a cool thing. Uh, so there are, other mo there are plenty of mods for Mountain Blade as well. We might do some of that once we uh, take over the world, if we do successfully even do that. Is that Artemeter? I think that's Artemeter. Ah, oh, yeah, I wonder if we can find Jarmus, I forgot about that. Oh, that's Kratos. I don't think I've ever seen Kratos. I think he's a lord that you cannot obtain, actually. I think he's, or a, uh, in champion movies. I've seen them in things like this, but I have never actually, um, oh, two-handed sword, yes. It's probably from, he was probably, like, in development or something, and they removed him from the game, I don't know. Ah, I just killed the king. Get on, King Ragnar. Yeah, there you go. Get on, champion fighter. Stupid mords! I'm a Swadian! Um... So... Fight the next round? Haha! 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 So... Nord tournaments are fun because you're always on foot and there no, there's no one on horseback. So it's all this. Yeah, level 14. And, uh... Uh, fight in the next round. I've never used a bow and mountain blade before, by the way, so that's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna need to put points in the points back archery, aren't I? I just remember that. Oh, shoot. There you go. Ooh, that was close, though. Facial hair. Ah, let me go to the tavern. Tavern. I don't know why I said tavern. Huh? Tavern. Nope, no one here. Marketplace. Arms. Nope. I already was here, I remember that. And, uh... You want the feast? Look at me! I won the thing! Let me, uh, let me pull up my notes here, actually. Not my notes, but, uh... Well, yes, my notes, but these notes. Here we go. Let me look at, uh, factions. Road Oaks. Yeah, uh, where are the... Yeah, count you. Wait, you're a Road... No, I, I hit the wrong one. I meant to hit Nord, I hit Road Oaks, I was gonna say. Uh, I'm not a vassal, am I? Oh, I thought I was just a mercenary. Shoot, I'm a vassal? No, I'm not a vassal, I don't think. I'm gonna look at, let's see, do we have, um... 
I wanna... Uh, maybe I'm just counting as a vassal because I went to uh, the place thing. I don't know. Tavern. No. Join the feast. I need to see... Mm. To get rep up with a lady, you tell her that you did, you won the tournament for her or whatever. So, I want to see if there's, um... Who are you? Uh, I'd like to know here, I can hear... Um... Okay, so you're just a sister of someone. No, you're not someone I want. Sorry, it's kind of a jerky way to look at it, but I mean, if I'm going to take over the world... Uh, well, only two here, and that you. Are you, wait, are you like a... I've never seen one in armor. It's weird. Okay, well, since... There you go. I won the tournament for you. Totally. I'm lying. Um... <laughs> I'm playing like Anathor, roleplay-wise, as well. Uh, I'm not being Draco. Because Draco's too nice of a guy. Wow, that's a lot of farmers, man. We might go, um... Let's see, am I... Uh, oh yes, that's the other thing I need to ask. The title. What title would you like me to... To have? Like, should I... For my kingdom, the kingdom of blank, well, you guys can come up with it. Uh, should I be king? Should I be... Uh, worshipfulness? Um... Your Highness? No, no, uh, that's... I don't know. Dictator, uh, President, uh, War Chief, General, Master of the Universe, um, what should I have as my title? Oop, didn't mean to click that one, doesn't matter. Uh, so this is Sabalba. Uh, Yalbaba? No, Yalbaba. Yarl Boba. Ah, couldn't say that. Yarl Boba is basically Sabalba, but turned into a Yarl. Mm. Mm. Let's beg my leave. Let's talk to him because I get wrapped up with the words. So. Hmm. What else do we have? Uh, I guess we'll continue. We'll go to Kira. And we can go there legally without getting, like, kicked out and beat to death, because we, uh, we now actually- Oh, a tournament?! I'm getting so lucky with tournaments this playthrough. You know the episodes are pretty- running pretty long by now, I think? Yeah, really long, actually. So I'm gonna cut it up into two parts, I think. And... Somewhere in the middle. We'll see. After that, I'll, um... This will be the last part of the last episode. So... I'll upload them out at the same time because I'm not a professional YouTuber and I'm not trying to make- Ooh, those weapons. I saw this in a Let's Play and this thing's a really nice one-handed- Oh, never mind. I thought it was a one-handed weapon. There's a war- It's a- There's a war cleaver and a- Military cleaver, that's what it is. Middle- mi Military cleaver. Ooh, those things can get really powerful. And they look pretty neat. Mm. To do. So yeah. Um, oh yeah, I forgot I leveled up, I'm gonna need to put horses, ooh. I will take one. Now I'm a war horse, no, I don't want a war horse, what am I saying? I want a, uh, hunter, I think, actually, because I want a fast horse, or, because, really, this isn't even the best one. I want the, um, there's a specific horse that's really fast. Yeah, they're faster than these guys. It's only three speed. Well, I'll go with that still. It's cheaper. Uh, and I want to wear, have that because I want to be able to... I'm thinking about being, like, someone who rides into battle then gets off his horse and starts taking out men. Because then they can more accurate that way and I'll be able to take out more. Mm. Goods. Still good on goods. Haha, <laughs> still good on goods. Armor. Yeah, Vega armor looks pretty neat, I think, but I wear that a little too much, I think, and it kind of 
was trying to get more, so I've switched over to this in my main account as well. Ooh, that's really cheap for a good helmet. I'm gonna get it and equip it. Da 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 da. Mm. Um, is there any of these boots? Mm. Should I buy them? Probably not. It's kinda. Mm. I mean, uh, I'm not very. I'm not very thrifty in this game. Yeah. <laughs> do, 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 do. So, join the tournament. Bet on myself. Uh, fighting this? Oh no, horse fights. Oh, I just completely ran by him. Wow, these guys really? Oh, shit. Uh, I've seen some pretty unfair fights before as well. I've seen some weird ones like one guy on horseback, one guy with a bow. This is mean. They're a lot easier to kill on the ground, is the thing. It's a lot easier to get killed, and it's a lot easier to kill. Horses are kind of... It's weird because horse men are more offensive, but horses are more defensive, in a way. Like, in a one-on-one -on -one combat thing. Um, in, at least in this game. It's kind of hard to hit people like this. Place another bet on myself. Place all the bets on myself. Fight in the next round. What am I using? Oh, I'm using javelins? Really? Oh yeah, I cannot hit X and... No, it's it F? Yeah, I can use it like a melee weapon. That is a cool feature in this game. We might lose just because my teammate died and I got a pretty poor weapon. Might we fight each other or something? Is that your mirror? Might not be. I don't know. To find out what a champion is, you have to basically knock him out. Oh no, you don't. What am I saying? Let's, let's let these guys kill each other. Oh! Is good. Oh, there are way too many horses in this tournament. I prefer, I prefer less horsey tournaments. Now I'm sort of better. Green and yellow. An endless cycle of doom. Die, yellow. So, um, yeah, I might, I might like review. Re review what I've thought of different games, even if they're not ones I've played recently. Well, I play Mountain Blade just because it sounds like something interesting to do. And I mean, like, what else am I gonna do when I'm doing tournaments and such, which are exciting footage, but you can't really commentate on them very much. Um, really, to be a good YouTuber, when I thought about it, you don't have to be good at video games. You have to be good at uh. Talking and you have to be good at being a social person. I wonder if um, but then again, not always. And you have to be good at commentating, really, because I know I can think of plenty of YouTubers that are actually really introverted or apparently really introverted. They don't sound it, but they are in real life. They say, "Don't is my whole team gone?" We were winning this so easily earlier. Oh shoot! Yeah, guys, can you take him out? Because I'm kinda at low health. Really low health? Yeah, there we go. And I'm glitching through a wall. There we go. Okay. 
this this challenge closer. Oops. Oh, Bash tries in the next round. <laughs> and I get a two-handed sword. Yeah. Oh wow, that that was a good amount of damage though. Not really at all, actually. No, well, I guess for the what I'm gonna use it is die horse. No. I don't think you actually can uh, kill horses in this mode. Um, commentary. So yeah. Oh, uh, you know, Hob and Will and anyone else who's watching. What would you like to see in my commentary? There we go. I will ask you guys. You guys are gonna be the one watching it. Um. Some of you might not even care about Legend of Zelda. Some of you might love the idea of me commentating on it. Some people might want to hear about other games. I, like I said, I commentate on Zelda. That's why I'm using the example of Zelda. Obviously, some people might... Obviously, I'll commentate on other games like, you know, Zelda, the other Zelda game. No, not like... Like, not enough different games. So... Ooh. So just, uh, just tell me what your opinion is on it, um, make a decision from there, as long as I don't have to leave. Um, viewer feedback's always good, for, in my opinion, because they're the ones who are going to be watching it. It's like, you know, like, you wouldn't want to sell bananas to some, to, like, monkey, and no, you want to sell bananas to monkey. You don't want to sell bananas to, like, banana plantation, so if you have... I'm gonna stop with analogies because they're not working well. I don't know why. Usually I can make some pretty decent analogies. Why? Why about? There we go. I'm gonna use my dagger, man. Ooh. I can't. I can't hit him. Let me, uh. Um, so, I'll, I'll talk about my main Mountain Blade game, I think. So, in that game, I basically, uh, I master, I'm, I use all melee weapons, pretty much, except for some throwing daggers, which I'm debating on whether to replace or not. I like using a, um, a bleep sword, I call it, because, even though it's not a swear when used in this context, it has a, uh, swear in its name. And, it's quite a nice weapon, you can switch it between one and two-handed mode, and, um, and it just lets you, uh, deal tons of damage without having to lose your shield. Which, I'm putting as, like, a restriction here is no shield bait. Well, not no shield, but only two-handed weapons on this playthrough. Uh, uh, so... The other thing I do in my main mountain play game is I have, a uh, I use, uh, Masterwork Siege Crossbow in Sieges a lot, and that's a very nice weapon. Hey, there we go, got him. Oh, it took me a million years with this normally weaky knife thing. Uh, let me go to the castle. Because, let's see. Oh, you level up. Perfect. Forgot, I need to level up still. I'll level up and then I'll sign off. That's good, because I'm running out of things to talk about. Again, things to talk about. Uh, I wish to know more about you. Oh, okay. Well, um... Yeah, look, I did the tournament, and so is, I don't know. I dedicate the tournament to you because I want to have as much rep as possible with everything. Okay. So, I'll go to character. We'll put two points into intelligence, and one point. Two points there as well, I guess. And we'll put one here. Where's, uh, where is power draw? Here it is. There we go. Four in power draw. And one and two... I already have one in leadership. We'll put in, should we put another in prisoner management? Uh, by the way, with the mod, it does not, up there it says five, but it's actually ten. I think it's a bit better with that, because otherwise you don't really get to Hold that many prisoners in. I could either put... What is Charisma? Um... Trade. That's it? 
Charisma Air Management, Leadership and Trade. That's the only reason why you'd want high charisma is for leadership. Never put charisma on any of your companions, really, because it's useless. It might actually be useful. No, it might be useful for ones if you want to make them a lord. Um, weapon points don't really need them because I level them up normally. So this has been Mountain Blade. I hope you've all enjoyed. Um, depending on how long both footage footage things are, I might make it one episode or I might make it two. Um, next episode. We'll continue our search for our companions, and um, <clears throat> and uh, maybe attack the uh, the lutzy things here, the beggars. We'll see. Um, hope you all enjoyed. Like I said, thanks for watching. This has been Draco. I did all the egg, egg, uh, outros for everyone. I know on YouTube, you know, style. Um, the end. I seem to be ending with that at the end a lot. Um, the end.